it was, yeah, it was just so very cool to work with. When the uh, Devil's Rejects came out, I was working as a film critic for a newspaper in New Hampshire. I wrote an article saying, they, went, they hired me for an article to, for an article about the Oscars, the upcoming Academy Awards. When I was reviewing the performances that were nominated, I just wrote an article and said, the hell with it, you know. Anybody that really cares about cinema would have to admit the best performances of the year were the Devil's Rejects. And I said that you and, you and Bill and Shari deserved Oscars. Then I discovered I wasn't alone. Other people had a similar ball going. But I, I wanted you to comment about the prejudices that exist on the upper scales. I mean, certainly your villain is equal or better to what Anthony Hopkins did in, in The Silence of the Lambs. It's certainly funnier. And why don't you get an Oscar nomination for doing what you do? I'll tell you. Bravo. Thank you for that, by the way. But um, major studios shy away from horror films, okay? Because they don't, they're just, they're not strong. They don't make any money. I guess a billion freaking dollars is enough for Universal Studios, okay? Uh, well, we did House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, Universal backed it, okay? They put up the money, seven million bucks. They had their producers on the set every day. They watched dailies every day. They gave Rob stacks of notes every day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, when the film was put together, they started doing screenings around the country, and Stacy Snyder, who was in charge of production at Universal, uh, was looking at the survey cards that they hand out at you know screenings, and they were amazing. They were they were either tens or zeros, which is exactly what you want when you're you know trying to pitch a film. You don't want somebody coming away going, eh, well, it was okay. <laughs> they either loved it or hated it, which was good. More people loved it than hated it. So she said, well, maybe I should go to one of these screenings. And Rob, you know, in all innocence, goes, yeah, come on down. You know, we're doing one next week. And da, da, da. So she shows up. The film is over. And they find her in the lobby of the theater, shaking and crying uncontrollably. <laughs> and the film was axed the next day. Oh, wow. Okay. A writer from the LA Times interviewed her. And one of the questions that he asked was, why does um, Hannibal get a thumbs up and House of a Thousand Corpses get a thumbs down? And her statement, the head of one of the most powerful studios in the world said, because we know Anthony Hopkins isn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Can I interest y'all in some fried chicken? <laughs> so that's the kind of mentality that you deal with in, in our business. I did a panel for uh, Spike TV at the um, San Diego Comic Con a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. And that was the whole subject matter of why studios object to horror films. You know, Hannibal was certainly a horror film, but they call it a psychological thriller. <laughs> that makes it better. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's like what the guy says, uh, uh, calling an illegal alien uh, an undocumented resident. <laughs> it's like calling a drug dealer an unlicensed pharmacist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the mentality of the, of the studios. Thank God for Spike TV because they initiated the Scream Awards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. And Bill and Sherry and Leslie Easterbrook and I uh, won the first Spike Awards for the most vile villains. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they and. That's been going on, I guess, this last one was their third third time out. The second one, well, I don't know if anybody saw the first Scream Awards. I was absolutely floored, and so was Rob, because um, 
they were giving an, an award to uh, Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez. And Tarantino got up to accept his Spike Award, and um, he said, said he, my hat goes off to any award ceremony that will recognize the work of Sid Haig. Oh, um. <laughs> Rob was sitting in front of me. He spun around and hit me in the chest. And <laughs> Robert Rodriguez is down on his knees. Going, I'm like, okay, what is this? Where's the camera? You know, it's really a joke. Okay, but that was that was very cool of him to do that. But uh, at least you know Spike is is honoring uh, horror films, which is which is good. And then the second year. Uh, I was a presenter, and I was presenting the Best Director's Award to Quentin Tarantino, <laughs> of course. So I said, I got to do this, you know. Well, my co-presenter was Danny Trejo. Everybody know Danny oh, yeah. Trejo? Yeah. And the deal was that you got the winning envelope out of this plexiglass box that was full of scorpions. Okay. And they said, okay, Danny, we want you to, you know, reach in the box and get the letter. And he looked at me and he goes, why does everybody think the Mexicans are stupid? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Danny, they won't bite, they're the black little bit, they'll just get out of the way. He goes, no, man, fuck you. <laughs> you. Stick your hand in there. I said, see, look, it's easy. And I put my hand in, and they, of course, they all just scattered. That was that. But, <laughs> um, when I presented the award, the award to uh, Quentin, I, I said, you know, there was a point in my life that um, my career was kind of circling the drain. And Quentin Tarantino was the guy that taught me that this is the place that I need to be. Mm -hmm. And so that was my hats off to him. Fucking guy turns around and says, I was happy to do Hollywood that service. <laughs> Quentin, huh. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a freaking job. <laughs> so that, you know, that's that. That's, I hope that answers the yep. why does Hollywood turn its back on horror films. Yeah. Who needs an Oscar? You got an action figure. I got nine action figures. <laughs> 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 there you go. Well, gentlemen, uh, ladies, I'm afraid we're going to have to move on. We've got uh, we've got a schedule to keep. I like to keep them up there all day. Uh, Sid.